What is going on guys and girls? My name is James and welcome back today to Roblox. How are we doing everyone? Welcome back, welcome back. Today it is time to jump back into Bee Swarm, but this time we are in the official Bee Swarm Simulator test realm. Yes, it just went back up today and on it has included some of the new content that he wants testing for Beesmus 2020. So <laughs> we'll talk about all of this in this episode. So you may notice though, some things are slightly different. Three, two, one, claim the hive. I have no bees. I have no bees. Yeah. <laughs> so this is the test realm. Now, basically earlier in like today, uh, essentially, on it said here, I am testing a few new mechanics in the test realm regarding the new B equip item type. If you are in on its testing group, you can test them uh, with the link below. Okay, this group is not currently accepting new members. Nothing you see in the test realm is final, and the test realm will close within a week or so. So, it has been a really long time since we've been in the test realm. If you remember, if you've been subscribed for a while, we did like 50 fuzzy bees and 50 gifted, um, you know, just crazy bees, you know, that kind of stuff. We did like 50 of everything. Um, and yeah, obviously all of the stats get wiped. Now, <laughs> just before we get started here, I have absolutely no control over this group whatsoever. I'm just really lucky to be in the group. I don't think Onnit is currently like doing new members and stuff, but all I can promise you is that I can share and show you everything I possibly can in these videos and um, so yeah I have no say in it whatsoever I'm just I'm just a minion <laughs> in the test realm but I'll do my best to show you guys everything ah yes the old test realm mega boost five times pollen five times convert rate ten times capacity ten times loot luck 25 times ticket chance and we've got reduced monster spawning yeah hang on I <laughs> we normally do this first bit in the mushrooms but it's a little bit more of a struggle <laughs> Oh, when you can't fly, yes. There we go. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, if we could please try and get 4,000 likes for some Bee Swarm uh, Beesmus Test Realm hype, that would be really, really awesome. Now, my plan is... I've got some stuff to show you in this episode, but there's so much information that Onnit has let us know about that we're probably going to break it up into a couple of different ones. So make sure you stay tuned, you're subscribed, all that good stuff. And yeah, there's going to be lots and lots of Bee Swarm. Yes! Right, so let's get started, shall we? I'm going to have to go and get myself some bees. <laughs> I think that's going to be quite important. I think there's like a code that Onnit did in the test realm, which will give us a bunch of stuff. So we'll go and grab that in just a second. Uh, but yeah, look at this. This is the stuff that on it wants us to test. So you can see here, look at this. This is the Bequip storage. <laughs> Let me take a sneaky cheeky screenshot of that. There we go, boom. So yeah, this is Bequips. And this is one of the things that Onnit has been working on, and he wants people to test here in the test realm. So I have like a full description from Onnit, which we're going to look at in just a second. But one of the answers that we now officially have from one of the leaks that we covered in a previous episode, what was this weird badge thing? Well, it turns out this is your Bequip case. <laughs> Boom! Look at that, your Bequip case. So yeah, check this out. If we now go into our inventory, this holds accessories for your bees to wear. Now, uh, currently, I think, we actually get these Bequips from taking down mobs inside the, the test realm. But that's not going to be the system in the actual game. We'll go through all of it in this episode. But if we click it, look at this, we have a Bequip case and we have zero out of five slots used. This is so cool. So I think what we'll do is we'll take our time with this. We'll try and work it out as best as possible. And here, oh, look, it's actually a storage chest. What? So not only do we have our own personal chest, which we can put stuff in, but we also have this thing here, which is a Bequip storage. We've got an inbox. What is this? If storage is full, your 25 most recent Bequips can be stored here for up to 48 hours before being discarded. What? And then this is the permanent one? Permanent B quips may be stored forever without taking up storage space. What is this? This is nuts. What? Oh geez, okay, I'll tell you what. <laughs> We're gonna need some bees here, so let's go and hatch our bee bear. Let's just go and hatch this basic egg. Uh, let's just, I guess we'll just use a royal jelly on it. Why not? What are we gonna get? We're gonna get a rad bee, fantastic. 
So what we want to do is we want to start taking down some mobs, but I think there's a code in the test realm. This only works in the test realm. I, I need to remember what it was. Is it like B-quip? B-quip? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Just a cheeky 1,000 tickets, one mythic egg, and 500 treats to get us rolling here. So yeah, we could probably spend the tickets on some royal jelly or something. Let's go and stick this mythic egg in. What are we going to get? Spicy bee! Nice. Okay, cool. So yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> Bear with. Okay, so the plan of action here today is to try and explore the bee quips in a lot more detail. So I think this is what we're going to do. Oh yeah, by the way, the Beezus map is up. Not in the real game, in the test realm. I've missed it. It's so beautiful and snowy. Ah, oh, it's so cool. Yeah, anyway, these are on its words exactly. Oh, the snow goes when it goes nighttime. That's so weird. Huh. Anyway, right, so what I think we'll do is we're going to go and hunt some of these out in just a second. But here are on its words exactly explaining how bee quips work. So, bee quips are items that you can equip to your bees to boost their stats. Some bee quips offer hive bonuses that affect all of your bees, like gifted hive bonuses. Some bee quips teach bees new abilities. And then different bee quips have different level requirements. Some can only be equipped to bees of a certain type, uh, bees with certain abilities, or mutations, etc. So this is a pretty expansive thing, and it's essentially like a clip-on boost for either an individual bee or your hive in total. Very cool. To equip a, a bee quip, drag it from your bee quip case to the uh, bee's hive slot, and then to see which bee has the item equipped, open up your bee quip case and look in your hive. The icons will appear over the hive slot. To see a bee quip stats, equip requirements, uh, and to unequip or discard them, click on the bee quips item in your bee quip case or storage. <laughs> Similar to amulets, bee quips have variable stats and some are better than others. So there's more in just a second, but from the sounds of things, that sounds insane. This sounds really cool, really expansive, really involved, and I've got extra information a little bit later on as to how we're actually gonna get them in the game, how they're gonna work, and how long they're gonna stick around for. So yeah, I'm gonna take down some mobs. Should we see if- Ooh! I got an elf cap! Wait, is that our first bee quip? So yeah, another thing that has been answered here, we were wondering with the leaks, like what on earth are these items? What are they doing? Well, look at this. This is our first ever bee quip. This is the elf cap, a darling cap fitted with a bell to keep the laborer alert. And if we click it, it now shows us what this does. <laughs> So by the way, like, I think on it said that not all of the bee quips are in the game. He's just testing out a few of them. But yeah, this is our first one. This is a level three elf cap. We can put it to any bee. We have a limit of three of them at once, which we can equip. Its potential is two out of six, and it gives us a conversion boost and a convert a hive boost. So essentially, this cap is good for conversion. <laughs> I want to find some more. So on it did go and say a bunch of other stuff here as well. He says your bee quip case holds the bee quips you can equip at once. So bee quip case size is limited, but can be expanded through different methods in the game. In the test realm, these are just tokens around the map. Ah, okay, so we can expand our, our case, but we'll have to do something a bit different in the actual game. Any bee quips you obtain that you can't fit in your case are sent to the bee quip storage, which is that chest that we looked at earlier. You can move items between your case and storage freely, and the storage currently has 10 slots. If you uh, both, if both your bee quip case and your bee quip storage are full, bee quips you receive, receive will be sent to your bee quip inbox. They will then be uh, there for two days before being discarded. This gives you a chance to decide if you want to discard one of your existing ones or take it out of the inbox. So. This may all sound kind of complicated, but essentially, the easiest way you can think about this is these are going to be mini boost items which you can equip to your bees. Now, your case will hold a certain amount of them, which you can expand. If that case is full, it gets sent to your storage chest. If your case and your storage chest is full, it gets sent to your inbox, but the inbox will delete after 20, 48 hours, so you have to decide which are your best bee quips and which ones you want to keep. <laughs> This is nuts. I love it. On it. 
So if you give me a couple of minutes here, I'm just gonna go and grind myself a few bees, at least so we can get into like the five bee zone. I wanna basically do some bug runs. I wanna try and generate as many of these new things as possible, and we wanna just check them out. So yeah, bear with me, I'll be back in like a second. Are you ready? Boop. Right, okay, so uh, yeah, I, <laughs> there was another code that I used, uh, which was, uh, what was it? Uh, it was a test realm code. Someone told me here, what was it? Oh, it's gone too far. It just says pog. Pog is not the code. Um, cherry jelly, that was it. Like cherry jellies and the cherries. And it gave us like millions of royal jelly. Um, so yeah, what are we going to do now? is apparently there's like random items around the map to test. So once again, like by the mother bear here, we actually have one of the tokens for another elf cap. So we're going to do some bug runs here. Well, as many of them as we can get just to kind of see what drops. But once again, here we go. Here's a really good example. We have two of the same elf cap. Now, the first one, this seems to be once again, was this the first one that we saw? I think it was. If we check the next one, ah, so this one has a higher potential, which I would assume based off the star system means that the higher potential, the better the item, I think. So this first one here has a potential of two stars and it's 37 and 15. And then this one is 46 and 14. Ah, interesting. Okay. Should we try and find something that isn't an elf cap? <laughs> I've got I've got bad boy set of six bees here right now. So let's roll deep into the five B zone. Let's see if we can take down some some bugs. Uh, oh, I suppose we could take down this ladybird. Come on, little ladybird. Feel the power of my bees. Yeah. Oh, another elf cap. Okay, I feel like elf caps are. Definitely a... Oh, yeah, look at this. So this is a one star. So this is the worst one we've had out of all three. So it seems like very, very basically, the more the stars, the better the item, which I think is a good way of grading it. But you have to look at the stats, obviously. Some different items would be better than others. I just guess, like, in terms of elf caps, it's a really good comparison that we have here right now. Oh, it's another one. Hey. Okay, look, look, look. So, yeah, these are all of the leak decals. Oh, that makes sense now. So they weren't ornaments. All that time with the leaks... They were equipable bee buffs on it. Yes. What a, what a lad. <laughs> Check this out. So this is a completely different one. Oh, this is a full potential. Level eight, any color, limit three. This bee must have an energy mutation. So I can only equip this bubble light to a bee with an energy mutation. But in doing so, it gives me extra convert speed, extra move speed, extra bubble pollen, and extra mark duration. These are so good. What? I love this. I love this. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go and take down a couple of bugs. I'm going to see if we can fill up. Oh, wait. Can I fill up my case? Yeah, I've got eight slots in here. So I'm going to try and fill up my case. And then we're just going to compare to see what we, what we actually get. Now, the interesting thing is that, like... As I'm taking down these bugs here for these, this is not the system that will be in the game. So just to kind of like give you a bit of extra information here, uh, on it says that this is based off the test realm. There are only a few bee quips in there at the moment, and there will be different types added in the future. I'm just trying to test that the stats and stuff work. So we're going to equip some in a bit as well. He also says that bee quips are a forever thing, but the beesmus equips are only obtainable during beesmus. So essentially, these are limited style items that we may only see during an in-game event or an updated questline. So essentially, we'll be able to use these bee quips forever, but we are only going to be able to obtain them during Beesmus 2020. Also, now goes on to say that during the Beesmus event, some of the main prizes will be strong limited bee quips. Um, so yeah, this is going to be like a really good reason to do Beesmus and as much as possible to get these items before they are gone. And then he also says uh, the way you actually will do it in the main game uh, will be completely different. So, you know, just a kind of confirmation that I'm taking down mobs here right now as drops, but on it's only just on that, just so it's an easy way for people to get them. But the way we get them in the actual game will probably be quest lines or maybe bosses or something like that. And it's going to be a little bit different. Okay, so I'll tell you what we'll do here is, uh, I'm just, yeah, there we go, boom. So, do you remember, like, one of our things required um, a mutation in order to put on? So, I actually got one more here, which, um, 
I can't remember which one it was. Oh, it's been sent to my, my chest. So we'll take that look in, in a second. But our bubble light, we can only actually use on a bee that has an energy mutation. So that's exactly what we've done here. I've just got a random bee, put a random energy mutation on it. And then if we do this... How does it... Wait. <laughs> how do we do it again? Hang on. Oh, jeez. Wait. <laughs> uh, one sec. Oh! Wait. Do we need the right level? B must have an energy mutation. Does it have to be level 8? Oh. By this logic, if we just grab one of these random elf caps, so let's just grab this one. Let's stick it on. Ah, look at that! So it has to be the level on the actual item. It has to be the same as your B. So look at that. Boom. So this is a level 4 spicy B, and we could put this B quip on, which is a... Uh... <laughs> This is so cool. <laughs> Look at that. But yeah, we can't actually use this bubble light because it's level eight and the bee that we are using isn't level eight yet. Wow. Right, 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 right. Okay, that makes sense actually. So here, check this out. We filled up our storage case. So now the next one that we've got, everything has been sent into our chest. So look at this. This is a single mitten thing, um, which is a level six, and this must be given to a rare epic or legendary. So what we do, we go into our beak case. Let's say we don't th want this one. This is a one star. We discard this. It will be deleted permanently, yes. Then we go into our storage. We grab this bad boy, and then we add it to case. Boom. <laughs> All right, dude. So this is only going to work on a level 6B, and it has to be a rare, epic, or legendary. So anything apart from just, like, a basic B, I guess. Oh, it doesn't work on Mythic. Ah, interesting. Okay. So I guess for now, let's just stick it on this. I mean, why not? We can just, like, anything that goes in yellow, in green even, we can actually just put on our bees. Um, oh, but we can only have a maximum of three for the same item. So the idea is basically, if you have, you know, like a beehive of 20, 30, 40 bees, whatever, you're only going to be able to have three of the caps, so you're going to have to spread them around. So here's the thing, you, you can, like, build your custom hive based off those items, and you can have a maximum of three, which I think is clever because if there was like a really, really good one, people would just put like 50 of their really good one on, you know what I mean? Like, you know, it's kind of great one of 50, but you know what I mean? Oh, oh, <gasps> new item. I forgot about this. Look at this. Snowflakes. Oh yeah. So once again, this is another decal, which was one of the leaks. And it says here, sends a cool, soothing breeze to all players on the server and it melts after Beesmus. What does it do? Let's try it. It does a snowy thing. <laughs> oh, look. It's a buff. Oh, snap. Look, look, look. So it currently it's, it's on a timer. So it only lasts. So if, if I use, so let me just use five of these. One, uh, oh no, it's on a cooldown. So one, and then I can stack it. Two, and then I can stack it again. Each time I use this, it goes up by about 30 seconds. And each time I use it, it boosts the stats. So it gives us a convert rate boost, a pollen from tools boost, the longer I stand under it. It gives us white pollen boost, blue pollen boost, loot luck, and capacity boost. Whoa, okay, that's actually really cool. And look at this, it lasts for a while. So that now lasts for what, four minutes? Wait, why does it keep topping itself up? Oh, when I'm in the fields, does it keep going? Oh, I can charge it. So it's on 38 right now. Wait, I'm just gonna stand here? How long does this go on for? Okay, so I'm kind of wondering like, it's a server-wide thing. So I imagine that when other people use these, it also tops up yours, maybe. Um, but mine just keeps going up. <laughs> I, I, I'm not too sure why. I, I, I think it might be other people using them. Look, everyone's got these like snow particles on them. And oh, oh look, it's an expansion. Boom, look at that. So our b -crypt case now has an extra slot. It was eight and now it's nine. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is so cool. So uh, yeah, basically, 
I have a huge amount of extra information about not only the bee quips, but also everything to do with Beesmus and then also future content past Beesmus 2020 because on it is essentially planning to release the Beesmus stuff first and then have some extra content, new content after Beesmus. So what I think we'll do is we'll do a follow-up video tomorrow where we look at all of that stuff because I think like... <laughs> It would just be too much information for one video. But yeah, stay tuned and we will cover that in tomorrow's video. This just keeps going up. It's now on a 10 minute boost. Dude, okay. And there's another elf hat. Give me that. So yeah, what we'll do is we'll come back tomorrow and we'll do another video and we'll just cover even more stuff. I'll probably do some progress here in the game, get to the other zones, and then we'll just maybe see if we can find some more bee quips as well. Uh, give me a bit of time to, you know, work everything out. But <laughs> it's beginning to look a lot like Beesmus now, isn't it? I'm excited. Uh, but yeah, anyway, so, oh yeah, by the way, just before I go, this is not all of the Beesmus update, by the way. This is just one tiny section of it. So there's loads of other stuff that Onnit is working on, which we won't see until it comes live. So uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you very much for watching. And yeah, see ya.